Hey, you know what it is. This is Joker News here. Let's jump right into it. So we just made a video before about, you know, Tory Lanez helping out Snoop Dogg. But now Tory Lanez sentencing is delayed as he hires new lawyers. Yeah, so let's jump right into this. So Tory Lanez is hoping Snoop Dogg's former criminal lawyer can convince a Los Angeles judge he deserves a new trial after a Los Angeles jury found him guilty of shooting Megan Thee Stallion. Now, the love singer made his first post-conviction court appearance Tuesday and told the judge he wanted lawyers David Kinner and Matthew Barhoma to replace his outgoing trial attorney George Magnesium and Sean Hawley. Now, his original defense lawyer who missed the trial due to a conflict, Lane, whose legal name is Daystar Peterson, was wearing an orange jail uniform and white rosary around his neck. Now, for the afternoon hearing that was delayed due to an issue with his gel wristband being too loose, Kinner told Rolling Stone that Judge David Hereford signed off on the lawyer change and agreed to push Lane's sentencing from January 27th to February 28th. Now, just think about that for a second. Why was that pushed over like that? Like, why, like, why is that a thing right there? And at the earliest, to give Kinner time to review uh, trial transcripts and a file motion for a new trial, the judge also said Kenner could argue a separate motion that date seeking to dissolve the protective order, bearing uh, lanes from discussing the case. Now, we look forward to litigating the motion for a new trial, Kenner told reporters after the hearing, declining to elaborate on possible grounds. We are very confident. Now, Kenner, 81, is legendary in hip-hop circles. He successfully defended Snoop Dogg at the rapper's 1996 murder trial, which ended in acquittal. Um, more recently, he defended Suge Knight at a civil trial over claims the Death Row Records founder killed friend Terry Carter with his truck. That trial ended with a young jury. Now, Kenner also is representing Pras Michael in a federal criminal trial alleging the Fugees member helped Malaysian financer J. Ho Lo covertly funnel money to U.S. politicians. Now, at the hearing, Tuesday, Kenner asked Judge Hereford to retire the protective order issued in April 2022. Now, that prohibits Peterson from mentioning Megan or any details about the criminal case in public comments. Your Honor, most respectfully, there have been a number of other people connected with the case, posting on social media and putting out statements. I would suggest to the court that the way the protective order was written, it's a prior restraint on free speech. Kenner argued Tuesday, I think it's inappropriate for Miss Peterson to be put in a position where he stopped from using his voice. And the judge said he wasn't inclined to ditch the order at his juncture, but said Kenner could try again February 28th. Now, Magdesian shot down speculation. Peterson fired him after the guilty verdict by telling Rolling Stone he willingly stepped aside to make way for Kenner to handle the motion for a new trial and expected appeal. Now, Magdesian said he doesn't work on appeals, but he may still attend Peterson's sentencing. I'm still friends with Tori, friends with the family, I quote, he says. Now, it was December 23rd that Peterson was convicted of shooting Megan the Stallion in both feet back in July 2020. Now, jurors capped a two-week trial by deciding he assaulted Megan with a semi-automatic firearm, causing great bodily injury, discharged the weapon with gross negligence, and possessed the concealed unregistered weapon inside the USV. Now, he's facing up to 22 years and 8 months in prison at his sentencing set for January 27th. He's also facing subsequent de deportation since he's a citizen of Canada. The jury got it right. I'm thankful there is justice for Meg Megan's lawyer. Alex Spiro said after the uh, unanimous decision. Now, over more than three hours of harrowing testimony, Megan told jurors she was trying to escape a shouting match inside Peterson's Cadillac Escalade when she heard the rapper say dance and turned to see him pointing a 9mm uh, semi-automatic pistol at her. And she was like, I'm in shock. I'm scared. I hear a gun going off. I couldn't believe he was shooting at me. She testified in the packed courtroom. He was holding the gun, pointing it at me. The Grammy winner, 27, said, After she was shot, she dropped to the ground and crawled to a nearby driveway. I looked down at my feet, and I see all the blood. She said, Now everybody is screaming. He looks shocked. Megan described her terrified reaction to the attack and said, Peterson apologized and begged her to keep quiet as sirens approached. She initially told police she stepped on glass out of fear and confusion. 
She testified, he's saying, please don't say anything. I'll give you all millions of dollars. I can't go to jail. I already got caught with the gun before, she testified. <laughs> now, the trial included head-spinning testimony from Megan's former best friend, Kelsey Harris, who was present in the Escalade the morning of the shooting and gave an 80-minute recorded statement to prosecutors in September in which she vividly recalled Peterson firing five shots, leaving Megan wounded on the ground. Once Harris was in the courthouse on December 14th, under a subpoena from prosecutors, she invoked her Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination and asked for blanket immunity. Prosecutors agreed to give her use immunity instead, meaning her sworn testimony couldn't be used against her in a future proceeding, but she could still be charged with something based on other evidence. Now, on the witness stand, Harris does disavowed uh, key aspects of her September statement claiming she didn't see Peterson open fire and was operating under assumptions when she sent three lines of text to Megan's bodyguard five minutes after the shooting that read help Tori shot Meg 911 while Harris refused to implicate Peterson in her live testimony she said it was ridiculous for her defense to claim she was the shooter now jurors heard that while Megan was still in the hospital, Peterson sent her an obvious apology that read, Meg, I know you're probably never going to talk to me again, but I genuinely want to you to know I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart, and I was just too drunk. Nonetheless, you know, things happen, and that should have never happened, and I can't change what I did. I just feel horrible because I genuinely just got too drunk. Now, Megan testified that she had a hard time navigating the aftermath of her attack and defended her decision to keep her prior intimate relationship with Peterson a secret leading up to the trial. Um, she told jurors that the non-exclusive relationship left her feeling embarrassed and ultimately she considered it irrelevant to the violence that landed her in the hospital. She told the jury that naming Peterson as her assailant came with a, step, a steep price. She said it felt like many men in the music industry never cared about what my side of the story was and immediately took the side of this man. Not a day that goes by where somebody is not calling me a liar or is not shaming me for being a grown woman and, you know, doing things with people, she testified. Now, Tori came out and told so many different lies about me not being shot, about him not being the shooter and making this all about a sexual scandal. But she testified saying, Megan said she now deals with the constant barrage of threats and harassment online. She said, it left her feeling like a sick bird that other members of her industry sought to avoid. Now, because I was shot, I've been turned into some kind of villain, and he's the victim. This has messed up my whole life, she said, adding that she often gets depressed about the way she's being shamed online. She also spoke in depth about this trauma earlier in the year over at the Rolling Stone. Now, at her lowest, she thought, I wish he would have just shot and killed me rather than have to go through this torture, Megan told the jury. Now, in her closing argument, Los Angeles County Deputy District Attorney Kathy Ta said it didn't make sense that Megan would frame Peterson if Harris pulled the trigger. Now, think about that realistically. It wouldn't make sense, right? Now, he is a fellow rapper in the industry. He has the support of the Boys Club. It would have been easier for her to say, my crazy assistant did this to me. It is much harder for her to come out against Tori uh, T, you know, that argued saying that, she had to think about it because she was concerned about what it would cost her and how it would cost her a lot. Now, Ta said the case was not about anyone's sex life and urged jurors to look at the evidence and sworn testimony. But hey, guys, this is also some, like recent news. I'm going to make another video continue and gone with this. But, you know, you guys let me know in the comments below what you think. Hit that like and subscribe. Keep checking it out.